guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of the reason why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My freaking mouse. <laughs> They're like, where is Noah? That's not a mountain. Noah, what the hell? This man just bought in a big behind Cerberus up in here for the girl. Except that, because who? A man. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> A what? Somebody a little better. <laughs> I, I 
I would be laughing crazy too. Stop this. It's okay. I'm dying because I love this man so much. I, I can't. Oh, don't be bitter. The handkerchief? Oh my god. No! Such a tease. I can't, I can't lie. God. God. When will it be my turn? I mean, because you just did something like kind of dominant with him, boo. Ooh. Like, oh, for sure, he felt something right there.
I mean, I would too because I'd be going mad. <laughs> Is that a problem? I'm not okay. Lord. It's beautiful. Well, Boo Boo, unfortunately, he will never be yours. No matter what you do.
Do you think that Emerald is going to control him? Like, mind control? We think in Little Mermaid eyes? Okay. <laughs> are so beautiful.
bitch. Yeah, but the thing is that she left it. She left it. She ain't walk over towards the freaking emerald. So is, is she going to take it with her? Who knows? Because she's like, yeah, did I leave that out? Or is that mine inside? She, she just was like, oh, okay. Um, and then, you know, Lady Ainsley came in and said something to her. So now they're leaving with the letter, but not the emerald. So, you know, hey. Your plan ain't working out, Vivian. So, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> But this is a sweet episode. The fact that he got something as big as that to give to her, even though <laughs> it wasn't a dragon and, you know, he thought that she wanted a dragon due to the handkerchief. She's like, no. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, C can we talk about the tension between Noah and Keith? Bruh. Crazy. Okay. So then where is she? Once again, because you didn't die. What if we see her next week? I mean, once again, we, we only got to really truly see the back of her or like the side of her. But what if we truly hear her next week? Like, okay, hold up. I'll even do another thing. The The situation of Vivian and the woman who presented her with the emerald um, brooch. What if that's Beatrice? There, Because once again, there's a lot of unanswered questions that we don't really know about Beatrice. Because, of course, Rayliana, she knows the story in and out because, yes, she's read it. But because of the fact is, once again, since she survived this time, um, because she knows of her death and everything, and changing the route of this story she's now coming in possibly a lot later and things that Beatrice was supposed to be doing is now not coming to fruition so my guess is 100% she is going to be discovering or officially making her appearance as of next Friday Friday Jesus Monday my bad I don't really know but like still something is very fishy um I get the fact even with Vivian, Vivian really, in a way, reminds me of Queen Beryl from Sailor Moon. Um, more or less, like, not her, um, not her 90s Sailor Moon counterpart, more or less her Sailor Moon Crystal manga counterpart, where she was so jealous of, um, Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion's like love and the relationship and being together and she wanted Endymion for herself you can see that Vivian does want Noah like yes yeah, she she's like well you know look at me I am pretty I'm gorgeous I'm sexy I'm this any guy could want me or have me but she wants Noah and because Noah really just batted an eye against her and She's like, okay, hold up. Like, you gonna be a challenge to me. Like, in the end, you gonna be mine. Even if I gotta pretend to be married 
to this one guy just to bat an eye towards you and be like, oh, hey, I regret, you know, doing that to you. So that now, yeah, you can be mine. But instead of her doing it like that, she's now also trying to get rid of Rayliana, which is whatever with this Emerald thing that's going to do. So my bet is that Emerald is going to either control Rayliana or it's going to control Noah, where one of them is going to say, oh, this little facade that we've been doing this this engagement slash marriage it's over and then he's gonna go straight to Vivian maybe I don't know but because they are these you know quote unquote star crust lovers and that they're supposed to be with each other regardless you know at the end of the day because hello they're the two main characters like come on now we know something's gonna happen between them they're probably going to have kids by the end of this series and such I don't really know because I, I would like to read this, but I don't know if I am. I'm super freaking busy. <laughs> that is not even funny. But seriously, like, it makes me wonder if Beatrice is working with her. And it wouldn't surprise me if she is because, you know, the change of everything. But, of course, we're not going to know until the next couple of weeks of this show. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 8 of the reason why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 9. Bye, guys.